Hey guys, this is Deidre over at Strassa. I'm here to talk to you today about our bubble tea glass straws. So if you're not familiar with bubble tea or sometimes called boba, B-O-B-A, um, it is a, I believe a Taiwanese Asian drink um, that's getting more popular here in America. And what it is, is it's a tea or a juice that is mixed with these cooked tapioca balls in the bottom. They're quite big, so you can't just suck them up with a regular straw. Usually you go out and get it. It's getting more popular that you can buy it and make it at home. I got a pack at the store that I can make here at home um, so I can test out our straws with it. Um, so when you get it at the uh, at a bubble tea shop, it comes with a film over the, um, the cup, the to-go plastic cup, small plastic film, and then you pop the, the plastic with your straw. Straw has an angle on the end, and I always thought, well, that end must just be for popping the plastic. And just, you know, if you're out and about getting one, have them pop the plastic for you. So... We always sold our eight inch boba straw, just flat ended and everything. It has to be this way, it has to be this size and because it fits into our to-go cases this way. So this is the size we always made. Um, it worked pretty good and if you're going out and about, you can put it in your case and everything. So then we had a customer that wanted angled ends. So I think it was gonna buy a bulk amount of them. So we had to figure out how to cut them on an angle, which is um, less than fun. So we had to, we figured it out, we made a whole bunch and we shipped them out to them and they're working well. So it's actually a little bit longer. It is nine point, just a little bit over like 9.125 and it has that beautiful angle on the end. So what I've learned in testing it out, I'm not a huge fan of boba. It's a lot of sugary drink and I don't drink a lot of that. So what I learned in using it is that the angle actually um, helps you suck up the, the bubbles, the tapioca balls at the bottom. And interestingly enough, like when you make it, so you have to make the tea and then you have to put in the, cook the tapioca balls and you have to put it all together in this glass with ice because it's all hot, so it makes it cool down and everything. This is the size of the glass that I made it in, which is pretty big. Like if you look at how tall my straw is to my cup, this is the straw that they give you in the pack when you buy the boba so you can make it at home flat cardboard tiny little straw I think it's probably it's actually it's less than eight inches it's seven inches long so if I go to put it in here yeah it's not gonna work so well so I'm gonna show you how unenjoyable this is it's, it's you know how, you know how you all know how it is to drink out of a paper straw it it is not fun so it doesn't suck it sucks like I can get it up it's okay it's not great but ooh. if I use mine it works a little bit differently. Put the end in. Got a long enough straw. Mmm. Much more enjoyable. You're not tasting plastic. Instead, you're tasting little rubbery balls in your mouth. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so if you guys are into bubble tea, bubble tea, give our um, bubble tea straws a, uh, a try. I bet you you will enjoy it. You can make it home and save some money and not have to go out and buy it. And uh, have some fun with your straws. I hope you guys enjoy them. Let us know if you have any questions about our new boba straws. Bye.